Hi all folks, this is Max from eepathacks.net. Um, I think that's my site's name, right? Somebody correct me if my brain is working properly. Anyway, today we're going to root uh, a... Um, we're going to root our Asus eepad. I know some of you, you've been bricking and stuff. Um, that's because I forgot to update the site. Site, sorry about that. Um, but my latest files will root your eepad fine. And I also have an uh, unrooting video coming soon. I'm being, making videos, so in case you guys do something wrong, you can always go back to factory. Uh, anyway, the important thing is now, when I first rooted this, there was only like US version. Um, now there's like Taiwanese version, there's Japanese version, there's German, um, Chinese version, and then there's a worldwide version. It's getting all confused, but uh, we've got it all, you know, packed down here. Um, so I've got the latest latest uh, update. Um, if you go to settings, settings, and uh, go to about tablet, it will show you your version number. If you're not on 8.6.5.13 or later for the U.S. versions, um, you can go here, do a system firmware firmware update, and then double check that you have the this one or later. Um, also, you might have to do it twice. I had to do it twice after unrooting my uh, EE pad. So do it twice if you have to, or three times even. I don't know why they didn't, uh, Asus didn't make their updates straight from the older one to whatever. But I've got Android 3D dot, Android 3.2.1 here. And uh, I will show you, let's go to our computer. Uh, make a note of which version have, uh, you have. I have US and 8.6.5. The three, the first three are important, 8.6.5, okay? 8.6.5. Next, if you go to my site, uh, download AndroidROM.com, I have links to this particular page. Um, you'll see a bunch of different root uh, files. So mine starts with 8.6.5. Um, this one's actually for 8.6.5.9, but I have 8.6.5.13. Um, um, but this one still works. Uh, I tested it. So if you if your version starts with 8.6.5, then get the 8.6.5.9 for the U.S. And let's say you have the German version. Um, for the German version, there's no way to root 8.6.5.9 uh, or later. But uh, if you have 8.4.4.11, you can use that. And then for Chinese, also 8.6.5.9. And also, if you have the worldwide version, 8.44.11, um, just don't do the system update. Make sure you check this um, before you do it. I'll keep updating it, but there's so many rooting things um, for J Japan, that one, and Taiwanese version. But uh, I'm figuring most of you are probably in the U.S. or English-speaking uh, countries. Um, so you're probably the U.S. or the WW. So download that and unzip it somewhere where you can find it. Uh, and then we're going to put our pad, tablet, into uh, download mode. Um, I'll have instructions for Linux and Mac. Um, I just haven't got to it, but if there's enough people, I'll make it. Anyway, uh, to get into the, uh, the APX mode, hold, hold down the volume up and the power button. And then just wait until it goes blank. And wait like five seconds. One, two, three. Four or five. Now it's not doing anything, then that's fine, right? And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, double check our drivers installed. Um, go to hardware sound, device manager, and uh, under under USB controllers, you should have NVIDIA USB boot recovery driver for mobile devices. And now you're in APX mode, even though your screen doesn't say anything. So go download it, unzip it, and go open up a command prompt under Windows, start search, type CMD, and you'll get a little terminal here, right? And uh, basically you're gonna go CD backslash, that's backslash this way, uh, not this one, but the other one. My, I have a Korean font, it's, it's, a, it's a dollar sign for Korean. And then go into the uh, transformer root um, directory, the one you download it. Uh, for me, it's um, us underscore a six five nine. And uh, next, what you're gonna do is type um, 
root dot bat. And that's pretty much it. It's going to install a uh, boot image, um, recovery image, and uh, that should be it. That installed the Clockwork Mod Recovery, and uh, we're going to go install the, um, the, the SU binaries. That's the root files. So hold down the power button, and it will reset. And I'll be back when it resets. Next, um, you should connect your. Uh, it's still connected, right? Uh, go back to your computer and uh, make sure you have Asus Sync installed um, in the beginning. And run Asus Sync, all right? And uh, sorry video fail there. Oops. Oh God. And uh, when you reboot, um, make sure you might want to plug, make sure it says Asus Sync there and make sure it, you run the Asus Sync. And go to settings um, and uh, applications, development, and make sure USB debugging is checked on. All right. And that's about it. Uh, and leave Asus Sync on, because sometimes the drivers they don't work unless Asus Sync is on. Um, don't ask me why. That's how Asus built it. And then next we're gonna type uh, install su dot bat. And if you get like these numbers, and uh, it says you know um, kilobytes per second. That means it's installed SU files and it's going to reboot your device. And when we come back, uh, we're going to run a rooted app and double check that it's been rooted. Uh, I'm going to load up Titanium Backup. All right, so double check under apps. You have Super User. Let's go to Market. Oh, I got to set this up real quick. And go download Titanium Backup which is a root only app, just type titanium and then let's install it and install um, okay okay so let's go home and let's bring up titanium backup, where is it, where is it oh is it still installing, yeah it's still installing so it's almost done. Titanium backup, run it, and allow. That shows you that your tab, template, or not template, Asus EPAD transformer has been rooted. Um, and I'll show you that this is my current version again, just for the sake of it. About tablet, uh, transformer, uh, I got 3.2.1 Android, and uh, so that's how you root your transformer. Um, just double check the uh, your, if you, what country version you have and also the version numbers. And uh, so if you don't have, if your version is lower than the files I have, uh, just do a system update and you should be able to uh, root your transformer. And if for some reason you root, brick your, uh, you know, Asus transformer, um, I have a video on that uh, at epadhacks.net coming soon, um, so it's all good to go, and uh, subscribe. Thanks, y'all.